I don't think you can really see the hive in the trees above the box. Alan moved some of the boxes outside of it. And now he's getting ready to spray it with... What? Sugar water. Sugar water. <laughs> to hopefully attract the bees into the box. He pulled it outside of pasture 7 into pasture 5. Like I said, I don't know I'm inside the quad since bees and I don't tend to get along. <clears throat> Sorry, that's my arthritis kicking in. I had to go into town today, so I'm really sore. Can you see the swarm up there? That's what we're trying to get. To go into the box down here. You guys are getting stung, so you need to get back a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to get stung because I always have a really big reaction to any kind of bug bite. Bees, especially. And I don't like taking antihistamines because they make me go to sleep. Sorry about that. All right. You can see a couple bees flying around. But I think we're far enough back to be okay. Okay, Alan, you want to tell us the purpose of the sugar water? Sugar water is for twofold. Number one, it feeds them, and it makes them really sticky so they can't fly. And then if you get them all wet, that also helps so they don't fly so much. It kind of glues the ball together. And where the branch is sitting, or where the swarm's sitting in the branch, I'm not going to get a lot of movement out of it. So if I can get them heavy first with water and uh, sugar, I'm hoping the weight of them will make them fall. I've staggered these boxes in hopes that they'll fall somewhere and they can figure out where they want to move when it's all over. Okay. Let her rip. If this don't work, I'll wish it did. <laughs> Have mercy on me. Okay, that's on the hive. And that's on the boxes. And he's got bees all around him. There's no way I want to go over there. They're over by us, by over by uh, Odessa and I. We're in the 4x4. Four four. Try to stay far enough back not to be stung. Never a dull moment at Cornucopia Ranch. Actually, I should say Cornucopia Farm and Ranch. Not enough pressure. Hot sticking. <laughs> You'll get one. That's coating them pretty good.
And now what? Watch. This is going to get entertaining. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that was entertaining, all right. I forgot the veil. Ouch. <laughs> This is Alan being stung. <laughs> I think I'll go put the veil on now. <laughs> we did buy it for a reason. And I've got really curly hair like he does. And it, I've had, already had that happen where they've gotten into my hair and then gotten up to my scalp and stung me. Within 20 minutes, I had a ring about six inches wide swollen. And I can't go over to you because if I do, you'll get stung. They're really aggressive. I don't know if you can see them, but they are really, really just swarming all over the place down there by that box where they all fell off because they were wet. They fell down onto the boxes. I'm not real good at this filming thing, so let me see if I can home in. Can you see? They dropped right on top of the box from the tree up above that swarm. So was so wet bees don't sting. it fell down onto that load of the box below and they're just swarming everywhere I don't know if you can hear them or not very interesting to watch so far I have not been stung they've been swim sw swarming around here but not uh, not finding me um, a target or anything I have well, they smell you. You were right there. I need a new veil. This is veil on. Try again. First, you don't succeed. Heck with it. No sense making a fool of yourself. <laughs> so this was a wild hive that... Uh, came in to where the hives were. Can you hear them? I don't know if you can hear them or not. I'll have to play it back and see if you can actually hear them. But you can actually hear the buzz. Smell the smoker going. Smoke doesn't work much on swarming bees. Can you hear the dog panting? That's because she's right over my shoulder. <laughs> Sure, she doesn't like being here either. And the bees are getting a little bit closer. A little bit more aggressive. More and more of the swarming out towards the 4x4. Four four. Nope, here he goes again. Whoa, there goes another load. Did you see that fall? Do you want to move closer with the 4x4 four four so you can reach up higher and grab the branch? No, that'll get you stung to death. I could stay back here. <laughs> Pine cone when you need one. Yeah, that was California. I have not a clue if you can actually hear the bees humming. There's just this hum all over the area here from all the bees that are swarming. And I don't know if you can still see. <clears throat> There's about half the size of the hive still up in the tree.
And I do not have a clue how long this video will run for before it stops. Smell that smoker. My asthma doesn't like it. I like the smell of the smoke, but my asthma doesn't like it. No smoke. Mm. Can you see how many of them have settled on that uh, hive box? That's a lot of bees. That's about a five pound swarm. That's one of the bigger swarms I've ever seen. I don't know if you heard Alan, but he said he thinks it's about a five pound hive of bees. That are just wild bees that moved into the box. They were in the box earlier and then moved up into the tree. And now he's trying to shake them back into the box. I'm not moving too fast for you guys. Hmm. What a task. He gets stung and it's like, oh darn. <laughs> in 20 minutes, I would have a ring about six inches around in circumference on my skin from that sting. The more I get stung, the more swelling I get. Yeah, looks like he's having to wipe out some of the stingers. You enjoying that, baby? What? You enjoying that? Oh yeah, this is a, a kick. <laughs> it's a little active over there. Yeah, why did I do that? Oh, there's a bunch of them there. <laughs> Slide one up. Okay, what's the current goal? Huh? What's the current goal? The current goal is to get out of here before I get eaten alive. So should I close this down? Huh? Should I close this down? Yeah, I've still got a few more things to do. Like I said, I don't know how long this runs. Run it till it runs out. And there's the sugar water again. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Now if I can remember how to load this to YouTube, I'll try to load it under Cornucopia Farm and Ranch. There goes another load, plop! <laughs> they are mad! <laughs>
Not happy. I don't know if you can see it up there in the tree, but there's probably one third of the bees left up there that was there when we first got here. Coat them again. And then hopefully be able to get them wet enough to be able to knock them down into the box. We're done. Done, done, or giving them some more time before you try to no, shake them again? I'm done. It's cocktail hour. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt. I'll bet. I don't even want to get stung. I haven't gotten stung, which I'm very thankful for. Thank you for parking. Six times on one hand, twice on the head. Yeah, thank you for parking far enough away that I don't have to worry about getting stung. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. <sighs> And hopefully later, if I can get the computer to handle it, because it's been locking up and crashing on me for a week now, if I can load it, I will. Signing off. Cornucopia Ranch. Love you guys. Bye.